Hey guys, welcome back to the Grower's Corner. So I uh, just wanted to take some time to wish everybody a happy new year. And uh, I couldn't think of a better way to start the new year than to plant the seed of prosperity by talking about seeds. What makes a good seed, how to germinate your seeds so we can get those ratios and germination ratios up in the high 90s. So basically, what makes a good seed, right? When I'm choosing my seeds, when I'm looking at seeds, what should I look for? Generally speaking, we're talking about a nice big seed. It's not white. It's not t like a slight tan or it got kind of a green tinge to it. Um, a nice healthy good seed is going to be fairly large. It's going to have a nice dark tan or uh, even a medium tan, but a nice darkish tan color with uh, what's called in the industry tiger striping or some black lines black stripes kind of throughout maybe even just some speckling or whatever um, throughout and that that is generally what you're looking for in a good seed now you can have all those same characteristics nice and dark brown some tiger striping you also want it to be fairly firm you want to be able to pinch it and uh, with you know some fairly medium to hard pressure and uh, not be able to crush it um, but we, you can get small seeds um, that have those same characteristics. That's still a good seed. It's still a mature seed. Some strains have slightly smaller seeds than other strains. Uh, indicas usually have some really big fat ones, sativas, depending. Um, but one of my favorites, GDP, has a very tiny seed. Um, so, you know... Generally speaking, those are the characteristics you're looking for in the seed, uh, no matter what strain you're looking at. Now, there's also several different ways to go about germinating those seeds. Um, one of the oldest is the old paper towel trick. You guys know, you've probably heard, take a little uh, saucer or a little dish, take a piece of uh, paper towel, fold it in half, put your seeds in the center, and keep that sucker wet, and eventually you'll open it up and you'll see little tap roots coming out now that does work and I've used it many times that's how I started um, however if you're gone and it happens to be a particularly warm day that day or whatever if that paper towel dries out um, it is one of the best ways to destroy a tap root on a brand new cracked open seed because um, it'll the paper towel will dry out and it will stick to this to the taproot and so some people not knowing better will come home be like oh no yeah. go to open it up and they pull the taproot off or they rip it or they you know split it or whatever um, you can come home and re-moisten it and open it and hope for the best sometimes you weren't gone long enough Everything's okay. Um, other times you'll re-moisten it and you'll look and it has gotten like brown and, and kind of, uh, for lack of a better term, it's gotten a tan. And uh, they, if they live, they don't really have a, a real uh, vibrant chance. They, they tend to not be as vibrant and vigorous as some of the other ones. Um, for those reasons, it's kind of frowned upon in the industry on a large scale when you're you know first starting out whatever's um, that's not a bad way to go it, it, it forces you to pay attention forces you to keep a schedule and that's something you're gonna have to learn and carry on throughout the grow anyway um, on a more of a production scale more of a professional precision scale um, is just the peat moss cubes and that works too you can just plug them right in, make sure the cubes are moist. Um, generally speaking, you want it to be lukewarm, not hot, not ice cold. Um, but just plug them in and uh, they'll germinate, oh, no, just no problem right in there. The third is probably the oldest, and that is just sticking them in the seed, or in the soil rather, and uh, watching them germinate uh, from that point on. That works. You can get high germination rates with all three. I'm kind of a perfectionist. I'm kind of a, 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 a I got to know what's going on. I can't, for me, 
if uh, you know four or five days has gone by and eight out of ten have popped, I want to know what's going on in the other two. Um, so I start digging around. The cubes make that easier. That makes it a lot easier to tell which ones are moving along, which ones aren't, which ones, you know, that corner was too wet or whatever, the tray was not absolutely level, etc. So uh, one of them starting to mold or go funky on you. Um, as a general rule, 80 to 90 percent of your seeds are going to pop within the first seven to ten days. You'll get some that'll pop in 24 hours. Um, you'll get some that'll pop in 10 hours, 12 hours. Happens all the time. 7 to 10 days, you should start looking at stuff and find out what's going on, why they're not popping. Did they crack um, and just not a taproot yet? What's what's going on? Um, because that can lead to some serious problems in uh, later on down the line. So, uh, just wanted to take some time, guys, and uh, talk to you and start off this year by planting some good seeds. So, uh, until next time, this is the uh, Grower's Corner.